We have reached that time in a generation of video game consoles when rumors about next-gen are starting to trickle in. In case you've lost count, come November this year, it will have been five years since the launch of PlayStation 4. And the theory out there right now is that PlayStation 5 is most likely set to launch sometime in fall 2020, which I actually think makes a lot of sense. The last console generation lasted seven years, and I think we can expect about the same once more. Sony seems to think the same, judging by a statement that the new CEO, John Tsuyoshi Kodera, provided in a recent corporate strategy meeting. The following information comes from Wall Street Journal's Takashi Mochizuki, who attended the meeting and transcribed the important bits of information. There was talk of how platforms like PlayStation VR and services like PlayStation View are growing at a slower rate than anticipated. And there was also talk of beefing up first-party titles, not just by introducing new IPs, but also by franchising and refreshing existing ones. But the interesting bit is what Kodera had to say about the current state of PlayStation 4, stating, quote, PS4 is entering final phase of its life cycle, which would have negative impact to the unit, but recurring revenue via membership services, etc. should cushion some of that. This comes in light of recent reports that PlayStation 4 sales may have finally peaked, meaning that total units sold per year will begin experiencing decline rather than growth, as noted by how the console pushed 20 million units in 2016 and 19 million units in 2017. Obviously, the console is still selling very well, but there is an acknowledgement that sales are beginning to wane and may be headed towards a downwards trajectory moving forward, as it always eventually tends to happen with any product. Now, before you freak out and assume that this means PS4 will be discontinued soon or anything crazy like that, keep in mind that entering final phase doesn't mean on its last legs. All Kodera is saying is that the console is reaching its final few years in light of sales peaking. I have no doubt that with so many great exclusives coming out like Death Stranding, Last of Us Part 2, Ghosts of Tsushima, Insomniac Spider-Man game and more, there is still plenty of life left on the console. However, Kodera's confirmation does reaffirm that a fall 2020 release window for PlayStation 5 isn't an unlikely prospect. Another statement he gave to that effect is this one right here, where he talked about how the period until March 2021 would be when PlayStation would couch down once to grow further into the future. The meeting was in Japanese, so the translation is definitely kind of weird, but it sounds to me as though what he's saying is that the fiscal year lasting from March 2020 to March 2021 is when PlayStation will wind down in preparation of what may come next. This sure sounds to me like he could be talking about PlayStation 4 winding down to make way for the release of PlayStation 5 sometime between March 2020 and March 2021. Now, I know some of you might have expected this current gen to have gone on for longer than seven years, but if you ask me, looking at the current selection of upcoming titles for both Xbox One and PS4, I do get the sense that they're beginning to run on their last fumes. Obviously, there's still stuff that they haven't announced yet that will be shown at E3 2018, and I'm sure these will help maintain momentum in each console's respective final years, but I definitely can't see these consoles going beyond 2020 without the next iterations being at least announced. Xbox in particular is bound to try to take the lead with next gen, as Xbox One hasn't really sold particularly well. PlayStation may be in a good position right now, but Xbox is barely hanging in there as a platform right now, so after one last push with titles like Halo 6 and Gears of War 5, among others, I think they'll soon be ready to announce the next Xbox. When they do, PlayStation will have no choice to respond in kind to keep up with competition and such, especially during a time when their own sales have peaked and begun to decline. So yeah, it all kind of makes sense if you ask me, and it'll be interesting to see what will set next gen apart from current gen. My guess is that the biggest upgrade will happen in the CPU department, as it's the component that's been holding many of today's games back from achieving that sweet 60 frames per second. If they can bring CPU up to speed and make moderate enhancements to GPU, I think games consistently running at 1080p 60fps, 2K 60fps, and even 4K 60fps 
FPS if they really optimize their games won't be out of the question. This is all speculation though, and Sony has already confirmed that we shouldn't expect any hardware announcements at E3 2018. So expect to wait a long time before rumblings of next gen really begin to kick up a notch. Anyway, with that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. It is completely optional, but donating even as little as a dollar a month will go a long way in helping maintain this channel. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.